In the last video, I showed you this massive titanosaur, and uh, in, today we are going to be leaving him behind. We are going to be heading for the blue pillar, which that is somewhere around here, for the blue pillar and for the ice biome. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and we are checking out everything new from patch 243. Uh, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the snow biomes. Now, this is where the snow biome always extended to. That is White Sky Peak up there on our left. And uh, none of this is new, but off to the right here, instead of ending uh, as it follows the course of this river, the snow biome continues, and you can see that mountain is now entirely uh, covered in snow, and so are the areas around it. Let's dive in and explore. You know, heading up these rocky cliffs, this this is cool. A lot of the other parts of the snow biome have incredibly steep areas that make it really tough to build, but this seems like it doesn't. It seems like you can build a heck of a ski chalet up here somewhere. Although, it's quite the dangerous spot for skiing, to be honest, with all the saber cats and uh, carnos around. Headed for the mountain top. Now, this mountain was never in snow before. This one is new. To the snow biome and i wonder what changes we've seen it was always an incredibly rocky one all right guys more ruins here and this is at the top of the mountain i don't know which one it is but it used to not be covered in snow and now it is so you can see where the snow extends to now guys it used to stop just on that side of the river and now it extends deep deep into this forest towards the volcano and uh, we are headed for uh, the edge of it uh, so far i found one chunk of ruins in here Oh, and we're out of stamina, like a fool. I'll be right back. All right, so this is the former edge of the old snow biome, and somewhere up here, I have a cabin built. Let's see if I can track that down. I had had someone asking where I built this little cabin. Take a look. There are your cohorts. What would you say? 2840, something like that. There we go. Yo, 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 here's some snow ruins, guys. Let's pull out the map so you can figure out where this is. We're around 2240, something like that. And here we go. You got kind of broken down pillars and pillar bases, crumbled walls. Oh, and it's even more expansive. You got those floor tiles, more crumbled walls, and fallen pillars. And it extends all the way out to here. These ones are very cool. They're one of the bigger patches of of ruins I found. Alright guys, this river was not frozen before. It now is entirely on both sides and you can see that what used to be plain old forest and a boring old mountain is now covered in snow, snowy trees, and down here by the beach is cool. This is sort of a dead zone. Not sure who had a base up here, but it's gonna look very different now than it did before. Yeah, everything does. Whose place is this? I don't know. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. It's cool, nonetheless, this might be Reaver. Uh, so this, none of this used to be snow, and now it is, and it's actually quite cool looking. It's nice that structures around here weren't destroyed. And uh, the fact that that's actually a cool little patch of beach with dead trees on it, that's different. This is all new. This is a cool building spot. Oh, F yeah. If you guys are builders, this is an iceberg. It is flat topped. Actually, all around here is flat topped. So you could have quite the expansive base. And we are sitting at 1448, something like that. Um, yeah, very neat. And it goes straight up the mountainside. Now, this mountain is cool. Uh, the other one, White Sky Peak, is so steep uh, in some places that you couldn't do any building. But here has some nice relatively flat slopes uh, for building, and the top of it looks nice and flat as well. Let's fly up there and have a peak. Yeah, I like it. Uh, look at those giant icicles. Oh, that's sick. So here we go. Let's take a look. How flat? Oh, yeah, you could definitely build up here. If you're a builder like me, there's a lot here to excite you. Oh man. Now, this base, guys, is a giant uh, steel base. I think it was built by Brink uh, before he left our server, and it is actually ended up in an incredibly cool spot, too. That behemoth gate is a little messed, 
but the fact that the cliffs encircle it, you get dead trees around it, it seems like we built our bases in the perfect spots because look, if he'd been any further that way, he'd be entirely cased, encased in glacier. Uh, and this is a cool new addition. Hey, there's a Quetz up there. Let's take a peek. He, you don't see those too often. So bluish, the brown fringe, a brown mohawk. And here you get the same kind of frosty palm trees. I always hated the way they looked, but they used to be in between the old snow biome and the the uh, the edge of it. And now that edge has moved. But you still get frosty palm trees. Kind of cool. All right, guys. Uh, I think that might do it for my snow biome video. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know. It looks like you get some cool looking redwood style trees out this way. Uh, Oh, screw it. You know what? This isn't the end. Let's let's cover this last little chunk. Let's explore the, the inner edge of it, the one where it meets the land. And to be honest, this is an area where people have spotted the Titanosaur. Uh, so maybe we'll have some luck doing that as well. Ooh, Alpha Raptor in the house. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it up here, guys. Uh, it's, it's not just a straight line where snow meets, uh, meets forest. Um, but you've got... Um, you got a full-on uh, sort of variety of biomes. So you go from plains to rivers to rocky cliffs to redwood-looking trees. And it looks like the snow even comes up this hill a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And this will obviously carry on until we get back to the edge of the river. Uh, you know what? It's, it's kind of neat the way that they've blended the two. There's almost a gradient from snow to grass and dirt up here. Um, very rocky, but fairly flat areas. I, th I think we might have come all the way around. We'll see. Uh, I'm on the verge of getting back to that river. We're flying by moonlight now, so. Oh, we're in Rex country. The edge of these two biomes meeting is definitely infested with Rexes. Now, if you want to be proximal to a snow biome, but you don't want to experience the frigid cold of it, it looks like it's just a gentle merge from snow to uh, not so snowy areas. Now it's still cold here. I'm in my fur armor uh, and I'm still chilly, but right around here that chill goes away. Uh, so there's definitely, uh, compared to before, you used to have to cross a river to get into those snowy areas and now you can kind of build on the edge of them and dive in as needed. Explore the biome slowly to tame up wolves and woolly rhinos and the kind of things you only find in the snow. And if you look down here, this is a cool grassy area that leads straight into it. And at some point soon, we're going to come up on the nearby river. So here it is, guys. Here's where the old snow biome meets the new snow biome. And we're back to the river and where I built my snowy river cabin. I think that does it, exploring the new snowy biomes area. If I'm not mistaken, there's some ruins up and in there. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in the next video.